to another guidance video. In this video, we are going to discuss about junctional epithelium. Junctional epithelium is a free surface at bottom of gingival crevice. It attaches to the tooth and forms a seal between oral cavity and underlying tissues. Definition American Academy of Periodontology defined it as a single or multiple layers of non-keratinizing cells adhering to tooth surface at the base of the gingival crevice. Now we will look the formation of junctional epithelium. We will explain it with the help of a few figures. In the first figure we can see that oral epithelium is marked as orange color. After enamel formation is complete, ameloblasts become reduced in height and they together with the cells of outer enamel epithelium form the reduced enamel epithelium. With the eruption of teeth, cells of reduced enamel epithelium and oral epithelium joins and when completely erupted, the portion of tooth immediately apical to enamel gets covered by junctional epithelium while the cervical region is still covered by ameloblasts. In this figure we can see that clearly. During the later phase of eruption all cells of reduced enamel epithelium fuses with oral epithelium and form junctional epithelium. Once fully erupted, dentogingival unit is formed by junctional epithelium and gingival fibers. What is a dentogingival unit? It is a functional unit formed by the junctional epithelium and gingival fibers. Attachment of junctional epithelium to the tooth is reinforced by the gingival fibers which brace the marginal gingiva against tooth surface. For this reason the junctional epithelium and gingival fibers are considered together as a functional unit referred to as dentogingival unit. Now we will explain the structure of junctional epithelium. Junctional epithelium consists of a collar-like band of stratified squamous non-keratinizing epithelium. Cells of junctional epithelium are arranged into two strata, one basal layer facing connective tissue and several suprabasal layers which faces the tooth surface. It is 3 to 4 layers thick in early life but the number of layers increases with age to 10 or even 20 layers. Length of junctional epithelium ranges from 0.25 to 1.35 mm. And the junctional epithelium has a conical shape as it tapers from its coronal end which may be 10 to 29 cells wide to 1 to 2 cells wide at its apical termination. That is coronally mini cell layers and towards CEJ 1 to 2 cell layers. Three zones have been described in the junctional epithelium, apical, middle and coronal. The apical zone shows cells with germinative characteristics, the middle zone is of major adhesiveness and the coronal zone is one of greater permeability. One important point to be noted here is that the borderline between junctional epithelium and underlying connective tissue does not have epithelial retapix except when inflamed.
junctional epithelial cells near connective tissue exhibit numerous free ribosomes, prominent membrane bound structures, example Golgi complexes, cytoplasmic vacuoles, which are presumably phagocytic and lysosome-like bodies. Similar to cellular epithelium, junctional epithelium exhibits its low glycolytic activity than outer epithelium and it also lacks acid phosphatase activity. Absence of keratinosomes and acid phosphatase correlates with low degree of differentiation and may result a low defense power against microbial plaque accumulation in sulcus. The junctional epithelium is attached to the tooth surface by means of an internal basal lamina. That is, cells of junctional epithelium with the help of hemidesmosomes are attached to the tooth. Similarly, junctional epithelium gets attached to gingival connective tissue by means of an external basal lamina. Cells from stratum basal of junctional epithelium with the help of hemidesmosomes attaches to the connective tissue. The internal basal lamina consists of a lamina densa adjacent to the enamel and a lamina lucida to which hemidesmosomes are attached. Hemidesmosomes have a decisive role in the firm attachment of the cells to the internal basal lamina on the tooth surface. Now, we will look the functions of junctional epithelium. It exhibits unique structural and functional feature that contribute to prevent pathologic bacterial flora from colonizing the subgingival tooth surface. Those are, firstly, junctional epithelium is firmly attached to tooth surface, thereby forming an epithelial barrier against plaque bacteria. Secondly, it allows access of gingival fluid, inflammatory cells and components of immunologic host defense to gingival margin. And thirdly, it exhibits rapid turnover and contributes to host parasite equilibrium and rapid repair of damaged tissue. So that was all about junctional epithelium. Hope you all got some idea about it. For more videos like this, Subscribe to our YouTube channel Guidant PSMDC and follow us on our Instagram Guidant.